Um, for those that are new, me and Larry started doing our stock series right when coronavirus hit because I knew that was an opportunity for stocks to go down really, really low and for you to make money as they come up. And now we've got a stock that you guys need to take a look at. If you followed my advice back in March with Tesla and some of the other ones we gave you, you sitting pretty like a cat on top of a bird's nest. Looking down right now, you're sitting <laughs> pretty. And so there is a huge opportunity about to happen tomorrow for a Japanese electric car maker who's already turning out a mass production of these cars. They're going on the IPO tomorrow, launching for you to get the stock. Take a look at this, and then we're going to discuss the moves you should make as of tomorrow. Welcome back to another video. So let's talk about the next new Chinese car company. No, it's not Neo. The whole reason why I'm showing you guys the Neo chart is because it's so popular. Like this thing went from three dollars all the way up to sixteen dollars, and then all the way down to eleven dollars and ninety six cents. It's one of the most popular electric car stocks out there. The market cap is ten billion dollars, which I fully feel that it's justified because of the amount of cars they sell. So right now I got Li Auto. Now this is another really really big Chinese car manufacturer, and yes, they actually deliver cars. They have multiple factories in China, and they're thinking about going public in the U.S. and could actually cop one of their IPOs. You clearly see this electric SUV maker, Li Auto, is seeking up to almost a billion dollars in U.S. IPO. Now, the shares will most likely be around eight to ten dollars a pop, which really isn't that bad. Now, what I'm guessing is will be a lot of people lining up to buy the overall stock simply because it manufactures smart SUVs and also electric vehicles. It's going to be really big especially how neo when the av hype started to kick in it absolutely send the stock up if you check out neo's one year chart you clearly see how powerful it is it was literally at like a couple of dollars a year ago and now it's at 11 dollars, almost 12 dollars. so yes i really do feel like lee auto with this really amazing ipo will be giving guys a lot of people chances to actually jump into the electric market now keep in mind that this could be really big and you got Hill House Capital. They have also shown interest in purchasing as much as $300 million worth of shares at the offering of IPO price. This is insane. And Lee Auto said that. I didn't make it up. So this is going to be dragging up the overall stock price even before the IPO begins, which is going to be a really big deal. So when would the IPO pretty much set in? I'm honestly getting like mixed reports and mixed states on the exact date of the IPO, but it should be sometime this week. It could be the 30th. It could be the 31st. I'm getting mixed reports. Some people are saying it's going to be July 30. Some people are saying July 27th, which is obviously today. Some people are saying July 31st. Like different websites are giving me different information, but I could assure you that it's going to be happening sometime right now. Keep in mind that if you use Robinhood, you most likely cannot get this IPO. You have to use other brokerages like E-Trade, TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, because you know Robinhood doesn't actually offer IPOs. Webull also offers YPOs, so that is also a pretty good brokerage to go into. Now, speaking of Webull, check it out. Link in the description below. Click on it. Open a brokerage, deposit $100, and get two free stocks. It's literally free money. And also, check out the Discord server. It's absolutely free. So once again, comment below. How do you guys feel about Lee Auto? I will be making a more in-depth video of it. But they have already been selling cars. They've been selling thousands of cars in this quarter. And they are making a lot of these SUVs. They're thinking about making a luxury hypercar as well sometime this year. The cars range from $22,000 USD to $70,000 USD and these prices are also cheaper than what Tesla has to offer in China and once again they're purely electric and they do look really nice like look at this nice electric SUV it does look really nice it doesn't look ugly I would buy this looks pretty pretty chill honestly so ladies and gentlemen you don't have to wonder when it's going to drop because the living legend Larry did his homework he did his digging he, he, he went and got his golden ass shovel and started digging because he <laughs> could get to the money. The stock <clears throat> drops tomorrow. And ladies and gentlemen, yeah. this is the strategy for this particular stock. This stock, the minute it goes on IPO tomorrow, buy you as many shares as you can get. 
early on. I mean, you need to set your clock and be up by nine o'clock. So the minute that they say you can buy it, you can buy it. And by the end of the day, sell it. The reason why I say that is because the stock is going to come online around eight to ten dollars, probably more like ten. And just because of the popularity of EV cars, and in particular, the popularity of EV companies that have sold units. Lee has sold units. They're running close to being profitable. They have sold units. They are going that stock is going to move like gangbusters. It's liable to go from $10, 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning to by four o'clock, they might push that stock up to 50 bucks, maybe even 60. So if you're someone who wants to get a quick cash grab tomorrow, buy some early in the morning, sell by 3.30. But if you believe in where we're going in electric cars, buy some and just sit on it. Those are my strategies. Larry, what you going to do? Yeah, man, I, <clears throat> I'll probably pick some up. I'll be honest with you. I'm a little nervous about this one because of our relationship with China right now. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't seem to be getting any better. So the idea of a Chinese auto manufacturer being able to move into the U S market and get a foothold right now. It just doesn't seem likely. And well, if that's and if, your real, if that's your real concern, then you're making my argument of make it a cash grab tomorrow. Get right. it, get it while they're bidding that thing. Cause that thing is going to take off like a rocket, ladies and gentlemen, all the it numbers might, are good. So what you could do, if you believe in what Larry is saying, like it's not going to be a good long-term play because of the turmoil we're having with China, then just bet on the stock tomorrow, buy, buy maybe 50 shares, whatever you can afford early. And then before the end of the day, when it gets to a point where you feel like you've made enough profit on the stock, 30, 40, whatever dollars, sell it. Yeah, I... um. Yeah, that worries me. I, that that worries me the whole thing. So you know, it. My other pro, my other thing is, is that it's probably not going to open at the IPO price. I don't think it is. If they're talking about, there's already people out there with interest in buying three hundred. If they're looking at buying, if they're looking at raising a billion dollars, mm -hmm. and there's already people out there with interest of buying three hundred million dollars worth of that. 1 billion at the IPO price that means a third of that a third of that um you know or almost a third of what they're seeking is already spoken for so mm -hmm. that in itself is going to raise the price i mean if that's if that happens you're talking about the stock price opening up probably instead of 8 to 10 dollars it's probably going to open up at like you know 14 16 dollars somewhere around there and so we'll see. I don't know. I mean, if it opens at eight, I mean, if it opens at eight, I'm I'm gonna I'm probably gonna grab as much as I can and 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 see what happens with it. As long as it doesn't drop below eight, I'm good. If it, as long as it, if if I can get it at the actual IPO price and it moves up, I mean, I'm thinking what I honestly what I'm thinking is I'll probably buy a hundred shares and. I'll probably buy a hundred shares. And if it jumps up, if it does jump up and it's, and it just sort of goes up and up and up, if it gets up to, you know, if I, if I can get in at eight and I sell it at 16, then, you know, I can sell 50 shares at 16 and I've just paid for the 50 that I already own. So I'm, I'm out of pocket, nothing. I have 50 shares. So that's basically what my goal is for tomorrow is, mm -hmm. I'll, you know, and this is assuming that it goes up tomorrow because it's supposed to go tomorrow. But we have seen with some IPOs, if the market's having a bad day or a down day, they'll mm -hmm. hold it. They will hold it because because mo you don't want your IPO going on a bad day, you right. know, on a down day. So uh, and, and, and sometimes we've seen where the IPO it'll come on. It won't come online until 11 o'clock. Lemonade. Yeah, sometimes it won't go until 10, 11 o'clock, right. somewhere around there. So, so the specific time, ladies and gentlemen, hasn't been narrowed down. The best thing to do is just kind of keep your eyes tuned to CNBC and they have a ticker that they'll keep reminding you when it's going to happen or if they push it back, this, that, and the third. Now, right. if if the stock, no matter what time that thing goes IPO, buy it as early as possible, but by 3.30, get ready to dump it if you just want to make the cash grab tomorrow. 
Now, right. if Larry, what Larry said is true, it is true that people are already trying to clamor to get all these shares. It's probably not going to come online around 10 bucks. It most likely is going to probably be between 10 to $15. And I don't have a problem with it being $15 because I still see this stock running up to about 50 at the very least in one day. So mm -hmm. even at 15 bucks, still get yourself as many shares as you can reasonably afford and do not let that clock go past 3 3:30. Do not let it go past 3:30. Sell yeah, I it. Think this is the reason why I say I mean I I actually like because it is a because it is an EV, you know, EV car, you know, it's an electric car. They do they're already selling actual mm -hmm. vehicles. It's not some theoretical thing or something where they only have a few orders here and there like I think Workhorse they were they were making a big deal the other day because they got an order of like 20 vehicles from some city or something. It's not a situation like that. They're actually making a fair number of vehicles. And right. so mm -hmm. and so I like it as a long term, you know, hold for that, you know. But if you are just trying to make some quick cash, that's why I say I wouldn't mind holding it. So I wouldn't mind if I bought 100 shares. And if it did double, if I can get in at eight or ten, and it goes up to sixteen or twenty bucks, to sell uh, to sell half of my position so that it covers what I actually put out to, pay, to buy it in the first place, then I basically have just I'm good. I, I have fifty shares, and I haven't really had to come out of pocket for anything, and I'll just hold it and let it ride and right. see what happens. Maybe it turns into the next Tesla. Maybe it goes from yeah. you know from twenty bucks up to four hundred bucks or something, and 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 then at that point I have to decide what I'm going to do. So. Unlike my folk, Larry, who is a little nervous about the long term prospects between our relationship with China, I'm here to tell you that doesn't bother me one bit because Asia and Europe have been into smart cars, small cars, cars that don't use a lot of gas. They've been into this way before America has been into it. Um, even though America is only 3% of the population, we consume 20% of all the world's resources. And so, if it doesn't ever come here, I am fine that the stock is still going to grow everywhere else because they're going to be competitive to Tesla. And one thing that Tesla has been um, trailblazing is the technology in their car. And out of mm. all the other electric car manufacturers, including Neo, the mm. hype around Lee has been as good as what they're saying Tesla's tech is inside the vehicle. So for mm. me, it could go both ways for me. If it runs a high enough cash grab tomorrow, I would grab the cash. But I'm fine keeping this thing for the long run as well because, ladies and gentlemen, you stick this in your locker right now when you buy it for cheap, and then you come back in five years, and they are neck and neck with Tesla or possibly surpassing Tesla, you might be sitting on a stock that's worth five, $600 a share, and that's money you can pass down to another generation if you get enough shares while it's cheap.